folks. You won't believe it. You just won't believe it. I am so stoked. What I have in store for you is going to blow your socks off. I can't wait to show you. You're so funny. You gotta sit up straight in your posture. You started. Yes, I did. Because I figured you'd be nervous. And if I told you when I started, then you'll be pretty jacked I didn't up. notice it when the timer started. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah, that kind of would give it away, I would think. Hey, you guys, this is Paula from uh, the S&P Life. Um, I'm finally, uh, y'all going to get to know me a little bit. And uh, you haven't seen me that much, but I'm excited to do this. And uh, um, ready for y'all to know more about me. I'm super stoked. I've been trying to get Paula here with us for the longest, and I, I, I'm ecstatic. Now it's truly the S&P Life.com, and uh, the S&P Life, because now you see there's I'm peace. here in the flesh. In the flesh. Uh, she's been pretty busy with uh, take care of stuff with uh, her job and things of that nature, but... You know, she's still been hanging in. We've still been trying to macro eat as macro yep. count as best we can on, on, on our situation. Yeah, we backslid a little bit. But it's okay. But today is all P day. This is P Yay. day, y'all. Uh, so uh, I wanted to bring Paula to you in kind of a simple, maybe a little bit different. But uh, the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to interview Paula and I guess interview style so to speak and get to know her a little better and some little tidbits and so hopefully uh, with that uh, it'll go smoothly she'll get all her nerves and jitters out <laughs> I've been in front, front of you guys for a few months now so uh, I think I have a little bit of upper hand so we're yeah, gonna just definitely. try to make her comfortable and get it going like we really want to get it going so here it is to uh, know about Paula. So, Paula. Well, let's back up. Let's back up. We are at rewind. Let's give Paula like a countdown. Oh, you know, you know, countdown. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one, zero. And now I introduce you to Miss Paula of the SMP Life. And we're going to ask her hey a few guys, questions. Nice to meet you. All right, here we go. Paula, can you please tell our viewers mm -hmm. what it was like growing up here in Charlotte, North Carolina, back when we were saying, what, junior high school, we met each other. I guess we were like 12 years old. We were like 12 years old. So what were you and, doing? Uh, I mean, you know. Um, we both played on the the basketball team there. Um, it's where uh, I met Sean, and um, from then on we just got a click. We also played softball uh, in junior high. Uh, life was great. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. No bills. No, no bills. nothing. No exactly. responsibilities. All we did was play sports. And go to school, but uh, okay. So next, next thing I wanted to ask you about that was was what really, really got you interested in sports in the first place. I mean, I know you're like really, really tall, as you well, can see. Um, yeah. basketball has always been uh, my love. Um, I've had a uh, uh, basketball in my hand ever since I was like two years old. Um, so, um. <laughs> Let the folks see their hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's okay>. yeah. <laughs> no mitts, right? So, but hey, but yeah, um, pretty much I have played um, every position in basketball uh, growing up. Um, my natural position is point guard, shooting guard. Um, uh, one of the people that has uh, inspired me to at that time 
uh, really influenced me in playing was Michael Jordan. Um, he is my uh, favorite player. And uh, so why, why I always is he try to player? model myself after him. Um, he also went to Carolina, which is <laughs> like my favorite team. Uh, Go Hills! <laughs> yes. um, always. So um, I always try to uh, model myself after him, be competitive, uh, never give up. So, so competitiveness and never get that's so that's your main uh, thing you took away from from Michael. Anything else you took away from Michael? Um, his ability to make other players around him great. Make it wasn't just about him. He could uh, he could take five, four other mediocre players and make them display better. Y'all, we got some bad dogs. We're going to take care of for a second. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> bad poochies, bad poochies. Okay, so uh, Paula's take care of the dogs. Sorry, <laughs> she's back. She's coming back. Bad hey, you guys, we have a very bad uh, boxer. <laughs> he's very active, and he likes to get into stuff. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Listen, so reach, much for reach the me, reach surprise. Me, reach me the... You guys, Listen, you got to see this. We going to see we were going to do a, a box opening, and... Well, as you can see, I think he's opened it up. We for have us. a box opener. Bad, <laughs> bad, bad, bad. So we're gonna have to handle him a little bit later. But no, that's our box. That's one of our normal everyday things <laughs> we have to deal with is him. So you know, we try to. Uh, uh, Keep an active life, and our animals are a big part of it. But so back to bit, a little bit more about me. Um, uh, growing up, I have uh, a mom and dad. Um, I got an older brother, and he took me uh, along with him everywhere. Um, so I I can credit to playing basketball um, also to him because um, if it wasn't for him, he. Uh, I wouldn't probably wouldn't have played. Yeah, you wouldn't have got all those free rides to the yeah to the, to the court, right? <laughs> free rides to the court. Okay. But, uh, so, um, outside of just playing in in high school, did you make did you make it any further to the college level? Or did yeah, you, um, you tell in the college? I didn't play basketball in college, um, but I did play softball at the UNC Charlotte. Um, for a year, year and a half. Um, so, uh, so she put it modest. She's a pretty darn good athlete. Uh, yeah. So uh, on to a little further on in your life, and you played at uh, UNCC. Uh, you you've gone on to continue to play as you were a little older than that. Now that we're in in the, our 40s. Uh, don't play as much. <laughs> don't play as much uh, active sp basketball or softball, but maybe we'll get back into it. We'll see. Maybe we Hey, down in the comments, let us know. Would you like to see us playing sports again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, down below. Just answer for us. Uh, another question I, I have, and I guess uh, I'm privy to a lot of information, so uh, hence that we stay together. So uh, I have another question for you okay what are your major challenges in your day-to-day -day life that affect your uh performance athletic wise or, or health wise or or sure. along that line okay. can you tell the folks a little bit about um that? yeah um 
It's been, I don't know, I don't know how many years, but uh, I was first diagnosed with uh, Gray's disease. And for those uh, that don't know what that is, it's, uh, it's an autoimmune disease. It, it, it's a thyroid disease that attacks, it attacks my thyroid. Um, what that, before I got diagnosed, my heart rate would go like... 175 beats per minute, um, but very uh, rapid uh, and erratic. Um, I was like a ticking time bomb, really, to be honest with you. Uh, so how did you find so, out that you had it? Um, I had uh, how I found out I had it. The um, doctor had to run some uh, tests. Did blood work, and um, that's how I found out that I had uh, Graves' disease. I also recall that uh, she did a lot, a lot of research uh, because uh, a doctor had told her no, she didn't have it because she didn't have some of the yeah, symptoms. My doctor said and... I didn't have it, and I told him I did. Um, one of the symptoms that my doctor was looking for was that uh, Gray's makes you have bug eyes, but you don't necessarily have to have uh, bug eyes to have the disease. Um, um, I don't, thank God, I, thankfully I don't have the uh, bug eyes that protrude out. Um, I was heading down that path though uh, with smoking cigarettes. I was smoked for probably 15 years um, 15 years smoking the cigarettes uh, the doctor told me if I continued on that um, I would get the protruding uh, eyes and uh, I quit that day we both did. cold turkey it <laughs> was nice enough to it quit, was strong. quit with me it wasn't nice. It was if it was bad for her, it was bad for me too. So, but, but uh, um, it yeah. was pretty scary because she had gotten down to like hundred. I had lost a lot. Thirty-five of pounds, one hundred forty pounds at almost six feet tall, you know, and that's pretty like crazy, you know. So, it took a moment for you know everything to get regulated. I remember mm -hmm. it was, it was a tough road coming back. You know, it took a toll on her body. But uh, she's doing much better with that. Uh, yeah. Um, I have uh, one more uh, uh, challenge that's uh, every day that I have to deal with, uh, and that's I have diabetes. Uh, diabetes has been pretty challenging for me because I have uh, I am on insulin. Um, I'm. I'm in between. They diagnosed me as a type uh, type two, but I'm actually in between a type one and type two. And uh, to go a little further on that, they actually now classify you as a type one, don't they? Because you yeah. actually are insulin dependent. Uh, yeah, I'm on insulin, so insulin dependent. So. That's how they do it now. So much changes in the medical world. It's right. crazy. How what used to be is not and was now probably mm -hmm. won't be later on. But uh, but how that affects me, uh, there's days where I'm tired. I don't feel like getting out of bed. But uh, um, I have highs and I have lows. Uh, when my body, when I... <laughs> <laughs> When I have lows my, and my sugar drops, um, uh, I have to get something in me pretty quickly, and then my then my sugar sometimes goes up too high. So, oh baby, see our baby. little bad boxer, see our little bad boxer. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Now go play. Go play. Mommy working. Cut. Okay, we're back, folks. Uh, what about uh, 
when you were diagnosed with diabetes again, uh, tell the folks how that went uh, as far as them finding out uh, and uh, what tests you take and what you go about daily that you have to do that uh, has an effect on how you uh, work out and and how you're able to... Uh, I have to watch my sugar and what I, uh, what I eat because if, uh, cause I am insulin dependent. Uh, if uh, if I eat too many uh, sweets, uh, my sugar goes up really high, and then um, I have to take uh, insulin to bring it down. Then there's a possibility that my sugar drops too low, um, which uh, is called bot you know bottoming out. And when that happens, then I'm eating sugar to get it up, and then it. It's like a snowball effect then it'll go up too high and that makes me feel really tired um, there's days when I come home from work uh, I don't want to do anything um, but go to bed um, but it's challenging for me to work out um, uh, when I do work out I have to keep some candy with me because working out may actually makes my sugar drop uh, so I had to be careful uh, about that. Uh, what else? Uh, about how many times do you give yourself insulin shots a day? Um, before every meal, so at least, at least three. three times a day, um, okay. I'm giving myself insulin. So as you see, you know, like I have fibromyalgia. Paula has uh, graves and diabetes. Uh, what we're trying to do with this channel is show others that just because you have some of these debilitating diseases that really, you know, pretty much wreaks havoc on havoc on your body, uh, that you can still uh, get out, make progress, stay healthy, uh, eat right, uh, get stronger, uh, gain more mass, lose weight, mm -hmm. whatever it is that it is that you wish your body uh be like not what everybody else and you and i i guess you know asking paula you're gonna attest to this that uh you pretty much you know have to kind of be kind to yourself and realize there are exactly. days that you know you're just not going to, to be able to do it and not beat yourself up for it yeah. and then at the same time you can't double make up for anything so you just have to kind of go at a steady pace. I always say like turtle's pace, you know. When we started this program, uh, the Brookins Challenge. Um, well, now Brookins Program because challenge over. Well, yeah, the Brookins Program. Uh, we wanted to uh, go to the gym every day. Obviously, with uh, Sean's fibromyalgia and my diabetes and graves, there are challenges some days and and where we we honestly just don't physically feel like going so what what we did was we bought some uh, weights and stuff so that we can do at home so on days that we don't go we can still get a workout in uh, which I think is good right it cuts out the excuse of not doing anything right at all absolutely on those days uh, for both of us we work pretty much uh, uh, well, eight hours a day uh, on a regular 40-hour shift, so that doesn't leave much time uh, with the, our businesses and, and the YouTube channel because we really, really want to do this YouTube channel mm -hmm. well, and we want it to improve and grow, and we yeah. want to bring valuable information to you guys from both perspectives, mine and Paula's, mm -hmm. uh, so make sure that you subscribe down below yep, and sure hit the little ding ding button so that uh, bell so that you can get more of us. Uh, we're going to continue on with a couple more questions with, with Miss Paula uh, before we uh, go into something else real fast and uh, bring it all around circle together. I think uh, instead of doing a separate video, we probably are going to... No, 
we'll add a second video, bonus video, uh, right after this about something special that uh, we found out that uh, we're pretty stoked about in there. Right mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that'll be really happy, helpful to you guys. So you're also going to want to probably tune in and click, like I said, the bell to be able to be uh, ushered over to the video that kind of coincides and goes with this one. Okay. Uh, but a couple more questions. Uh, so outside of sports and school and work, uh, what um, th things do you like to do? Uh, what, are, what are some of your favorite hobbies or activities that you like doing uh, besides uh, I like um, exercising? Uh, well, I like uh, listening to music, um, just hanging out around the house. Um, Come on, you. tell the people. Go ahead. You tell the people what's your favorite uh, type of music. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Tell them. <laughs> Hip hop and rap. <laughs> there it goes, folks. Hip hop and rap. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pretty uh, cool. I'm pretty eclectic. I, I don't listen to anything really. Tis true, but, tis true. Um, I know a little bit of everything. Tis true, this tis true. Uh, also, uh, one of my hobbies is uh, making bracelets, rubber band bracelets uh, with letters. Um, I enjoy doing that. Well, I know you have stored up and stocked up the house full of puzzles. I can tell yeah, you that. Yeah, I got puzzles Puzzle that freak. I like. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's relaxing to me. So, yeah, I enjoy putting together puzzles. Me, yeah, I like puzzles. For some reason, I remember when I was younger, I used to put puzzles together a lot. But I don't know. Now, I don't know if I have the patience. It's, it's, it's amazing have, to watch her do these puzzles, you guys. Patience, put together a puzzle, it's sure. amazing. I mean, she's putting together like thousand and five thousand pieces, and they all look alike. Pretty quick. And yeah, she does it pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have lots of them around here. Okay, uh, so what's your favorite sports team? Ah, uh, my favorite sports team, um, the Tar Heels, in yeah, college basketball. It's Tar Heels. Um, That's 1-1, one, one, Tar Heels, 1-1, one, one, Tar Heels. <laughs> <laughs> NFL. Mm. Mm. Washington Redskins. <laughs> Fucking cow. Yeah, she did say it. Cow she dropped the F bomb. She dropped the F bomb. I dropped the F bomb on that. Yes, folks. Yes, folks. And I'm not going to bleep it out. And that's funny. <laughs> She's usually not like that. So that y'all, y'all, y'all you all just y'all caught one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah we are funny. quite the robber. <laughs> yeah, in you the know house. Dallas in the house all day. Big D, give me a holler. Tickets. -uh. Tickets. Dallas Redskins. Dallas really? Redskins. In Slider. Washington. In Washington. No, no. We no. got AP now. It's all over with. Yeah, Associated Press. Yeah, <laughs> and, and she did say it right. So, AP, you watching? Adrian Peterson, hook me up, man. I hope you're not like the quarterbacks that go to Washington. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna get off them Redskins because okay. we love the NFL. You see more about My, it. My uh, MLB team is uh, the Yankees, American League Yankees. Uh, I love the Yankees. Um, National I do League. have a national team, and that's uh, the Atlanta Braves. We agree on that. We so, agree so on that. it's two out of three. Two there out of three. Go. Two hey, out of three. You like the Yankees? I love the Yankees. Oh, yeah. so that's three out of four. Three out of four. So, uh, so we're about to wrap this up about you getting to know OP a little bit better, and and how uh, she's gonna intermingle into uh, what we're doing here a little bit more. Uh, there are uh, two more questions I want to ask. Uh, from us doing this channel, mm -hmm. what is it that you are trying to gain as a final goal uh, as far as your personal fitness and health? Hold on.
people ask me a question again? Oh, with this, <laughs> I'm starting right. um, with this uh, YouTube channel that we have, um, what I'm looking to gain is uh, as an athlete, I want to gain about 10, maybe 10, 15 more pounds, but I want to be bulk, like um, gain muscle mass uh, and uh, to be ripped up. And uh, hopefully, with doing this program, um, I can accomplish that. I think so. I think we got. I think we we'll do this. I think we we'll do this. Uh, so, in that, now final question is: uh, as a little girl growing up here in North Kakalaki, what? drove you to play sports or want to be an athlete and uh and and what what just generally what made you uh fall in love with uh athletics um that's a good question growing up uh i've always loved athletics um everything that i've done athletically whether it be basketball, softball, um, I played volleyball in high school. I also ran cross country. I played some soccer in, in middle school. But pretty bad. Uh, the sorry. point the point that I'm trying to make is uh, my uh, mom played basketball and softball in uh, throughout her school years, and my dad he played baseball and basketball. He he, he pitched in baseball. So, and uh, both of them were pretty athletic. So, I guess it was genetic part of it. Uh, but I just had that had that will to uh, to be great. Um, yeah, uh, you were great. I can I can give you that. <laughs> you were great. You were quite the challenge. Uh, if you folks didn't know that, even though we went to the same junior high school, we, we went played to together. We went to rival high schools and we played against each other. So uh, that's where did you play? <laughs> I played at Garinger the G. I played at Garinger, and I played at Independence the Big I. So uh, it is true. Rivals can get along. Rivals can get along. Can. You can agree always, to disagree. Uh, disagree. <laughs> we always knew what uh, each other was uh, doing, keeping up with uh, each other's stats. Yeah, pretty important. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Pretty important. Uh, yeah, so um, I think my parents kind of drove me to uh, playing athletics. That's, that's really... Uh, a very good thing because uh, with the way things are today, you know, we need more parents supporting kids mm -hmm. and getting them out there and getting them healthy, it, do, it, doing healthy things, you know, sports, <laughs> as I always say. So, you know, uh, I have to admit, growing up, I was very, very competitive with, with Paula as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I definitely looked at the stats. It drove me. It uh, drove me too. I just could not see her outdoing me. I mean, I just, she did many and most. I spent countless hours outside. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Practicing basketball. Sports teaches you discipline mm -hmm. and it teaches you to go after your goals. Uh, you, whether it's individual or whether you're on a team, you have goals that you set at the beginning of the season and you want to meet them at the end of the season. So if you take lessons like those and apply them to mm -hmm. your daily life, then, you know, just like, a, like when you were younger and you play sports, uh, and those of you that didn't find somebody that plays sports and they will tell you <laughs> <laughs> and that time management is no like one of the number one yes, things. Uh, sure. So uh, we will be coming uh, with you 
to you with some uh, time management ideas and things of that nature to help you if you having problems with getting your workouts done, getting you know work regular work done, and then you know the kids, you know et cetera et cetera. We all have outside extenuating circumstances, uh, but we want you guys to be successful as well as us be successful. Uh, so we've uh, worked on some time management things. We've also uh, tried to revamp uh, how we plan our meals and those sort of things. So we're still tweaking, but we're getting there. Uh, I want to thank Paula for hanging in with me and doing the about no the about page, uh, so you guys could get to know Sorry her a little it's, better. Sorry, uh, taking this long, but. Uh... I'm finally here and finally been able to get it done. So and it's super. I can already tell it's super. So you guys tune and in. And you'll be seeing more of me. <laughs> I, I hope so. It's the S N P. Like it will be no fun without the P, right, folks? Right. right. No fun without the P. So uh, we will definitely be bringing you more of uh, Paula. Uh, definitely, uh, we will be giving more updates about the Brookings Challenge. I'm down about 35 uh -huh. pound program, excuse me, uh, challenge, I guess, uh, it still could be a challenge, but, uh, program, the Brookings program, uh, I'm down about 30, 35 pounds, Paula's put on about five pounds or so, and still looking me, so, uh, oh, idea. so, uh, that's working out great, uh, we want the keep on uh, pushing through and uh, we want you guys to tune in and subscribe down below or up top uh, wherever you see a subscribe button, button subscribe. subscribe you see a bell ding it because uh, <laughs> we definitely want to see you guys uh, succeed and we think that we can bring some exciting uh, different perspectives on uh, some of the things that are already out there uh, some of the things that seem to be overly complicated we're going to try to simplify it so people like all of us can understand instead of one person right. uh, so we have those type goals uh, we want to be bringing in some uh, other products and stuff uh, to help you guys out, uh, some other resources mm -hmm. uh, we're looking into bringing to you guys. So uh, stay tuned to us. And once again, Paula, you've been a great, great, great addition to this side of the camera. Cause uh, Thank you for uh, on me. Uh, no problem, no problem. I mean, you know, Paula has many hats that y'all don't get to see very much. Uh, Paula. Uh, Apollo. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All righty, wrapping it up. So, uh, like I said, we have several things coming to you guys uh, here shortly. Uh, haven't forgot about coffee that's coming up this week, hopefully. No, uh, but I wanted to bring you P instead because uh, I thought it was very important that you see the other half of yeah. S&P. Uh, she does many things for us. She helps product me product test. She's my right. videographer. Okay. She runs around with the camera chasing me all over the place most of the time. Uh, if I don't have it on the stand, she's there for me. Uh, she is one of those type of people that influence others by doing and uh, a woman of few words but uh, if you watch her you know she's a powerful force to be reckoned with and so I expect that you know we're having her as a partner and a workout partner that great things are going to happen and you'll see us keep on improving you'll see us keep me keep on losing weight you'll see her get it's bigger and we'll be both getting ripped up and uh, Thank you, Brooke, for you, Brooke. Uh, giving us someone to look up to in the sense of uh, someone that can influence us in a positive manner yep. uh, about our health and that give us truthful and helpful advice and a program that uh, rocks. So uh, shout out to her, Brooke Naked 
uh, program. Check it out. Uh, we'll leave a link down below so you can go to her channel, check out some of her other videos, etc., etc. Uh, we also uh, will be linking to other things as well. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, so say all that again. <laughs> we fucked up. We messed up. Oh, we ran out. I can't get. Is the battery working in this thing? I can't even get it to work. Okay. Now they said wireless. They say wireless. <laughs> they weren't talking about wireless. Okay. <laughs> We're wrapping this up, though. Wrapping it up. So, uh. Anything else you'd like to tell the people before we blow kisses and hearts and hugs and tell them? No, we'll we got a later. lot of great things coming uh, um, forth and uh, probably coming up this week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So stay tuned. Stay tuned to the S and P life. life. We love you, folks. Much Thanks, love. Kisses, Kisses, lots of hugs, and we shall see you yes, soon. Sir. Thanks for tuning in. All about P-Day. Deuces. Deuces.